Welcome back, guys. We are once again, well, I should say, <laughs> not once again. This is my third attempt at this legendary ship here in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Uh, I have been destroyed by this ship multiple, multiple times, well, twice. But this ship is difficult. And yes, very heavily armored ship we're fighting this time. So we're going to be basically attempting to fight it from afar. It does have a weak point on the back. But uh, it seems like once you get them down to a certain point, they start taking you seriously and uh, really start reaming on you with damage. They get really good with their mortar shots, and they're a fast ship. Now, coming in at the broadside is usually a terrible idea, and it will become a terrible idea. It's just that, like, right now, we can get them with a lot of good shots in the back. You see how much damage that they're doing? Okay. And pretty much, whenever they, they fire... Oh! Whenever they, uh, they fire those mortars, um, we basically just want to cut and go the exact opposite direction we were going. So if we can, if we can time that, if we can get shots on their backside, we should be able to finish these guys off, I think. If we can get a few more good hits in there like we did that, that first attack, that first attack run, um, by coming up behind him and using the heavy shot, then that's the way we want to play this. Please, Assassin's Creed, just, just aim where I'm aiming. So now we're kind of chasing them. They're going to cut sooner or later and uh, try to get uh, their front facing us because that's where their armor is. Oh, there goes another mo border, uh, border volley. I keep making that mistake saying border molly. It's, uh, it's kind of funny to me. You guys may or may not think so. That's fine. Oh, they did like a double volley there. That was... I'm surprised we, we didn't get hit there, to be completely honest. Got a couple there. Oh, they did another volley at us. And we basically just want to keep on their backside and keep lobbing those volleys for, for chip damage here, basically. Okay, we took a few there, and we definitely took a few there. And they're trying to turn, get us away from our uh, our positioning. Oh, that's fast. That is a fast ship. Okay, let's do another volley here. I kind of want to wait for them to fire first, to be honest. So that we can, we can we can judge where it's going, and that's the good thing about keeping distance from these guys. Okay, there goes their heavy shot. They won't be able to do it for a moment. Oh, got them all ran. It ain't going to do us much good at this point. But we did get close. Got us close. There goes another heavy shot. We didn't hit him too hard there, unfortunately. So, um, very tricky boss here. There goes another volley from him. You can see they put some distance between us there nice and quick. But I think we have him on the on the defensive this time it looks like. This is a uh, Okay, nope. Nope. I'm not going to say nothing. I don't want to jinx it. So we're just going to as they run, just continue to drop those volleys and mortars on them. Cut it a little bit and get away from that border volley. Oh, this is this is tough, guys. That's nah, not gonna get him. They lob him straight back there. Which is a good move on their behalf. Back to full sails. I think. I think we can get this. They have some good defense with all the mortars they lob. This is one of the ships that I've actually encountered that really, really uses their volleys. Okay. So you really have to be agile with your with your uh, approach on this one. You really have to take the time to uh, to 
set it up to make sure that you're getting good hits on them and, and avoiding those mortars. They have, I'm assuming, the fully upgraded mortars. They are, they are terrifying with those things. See if we get another one there. Maybe a little chip damage, not so much. I'm expecting a volley here any moment. Oh, oh, cut those, cut those. Don't want to sail into that. They're coming in at us again. Let's see if we can skip them. They definitely got a hit on us there. That's not what I wanted. But I also didn't really want to get them um, too heavy there. Okay. Not close enough. Okay, let's drop another volley on them if we can. I can't even... So, God. The volley went right over us, thankfully. They have gotten very aggressive. Am I out? Am I out of my mortars? I am out of mortars at this point. We've used all of them. Oh, took a few of his last shots there. So, okay, we can't do our volleys and mortars anymore to try to keep him uh, on his toes. He's gonna keep us on the run. That is for sure. Okay, a couple shots there with our long-range uh, broadsides. Now, thankfully, when we're cutting around like this, um, he aims ahead of us. If we're running straight at him, it's really tough because we're just basically in his firing zone. Okay, okay, he's dropping some more volleys. Slice those sails, come in again for cutting. Oh, we got a couple hit there. I was trying to get a little far, far enough out so that, uh... Oh, gosh. This guy, this one is a tough, tough fight thus far. He made a mistake, shot a little too far out there when I still had him cut pretty well. So let's see if we can keep him doing that, that nonsense. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. Took a hit there, small hit, couple little hits. There we go. Got a good hit there on him. Let's get up to full sails. See if we can push a few uh, volleys into him. Coming a lot more, a lot more deadly at this point. Okay. He's coming in, but I think with what he's doing, we should be able to get a shot on his backside. And we're gonna wait and see if we can get him with the. Uh... Nope, nope, he's getting too far away. We're gonna lob a normal volley at his backside. Okay, a bit more damage on him. Let's see if we can keep this up. Oh man, these legendary ships are no joke. No joke. Whatsoever. Oh, oh, got some wider shots on us. Get him with a shot. Oh, that was way off. Oh, we actually got him with a hit. I'm actually quite surprised. Racing a little bit, expecting a bigger shot there, a little bit closer to us. It wasn't the case. This is, uh, wow. This is surprising how difficult this is, guys. Oh, it's right at us. Brace out of it. Time for a volley, though. Okay, we got him with a full volley there. Looked like got him on his five hits with our with our upgraded. Uh, their upgraded ones. Oh boy. Looks like he's gonna go for a volley on his heavy shot. Cutting sails to avoid that. Speeding up because he's gonna come in for a ram. And looks like we avoided it, but barely. We can get him from the backside though. We can turn around quick enough. A couple of hits there. Just chipping him down slowly but surely, guys. Slowly but surely. Okay, thankfully, I've been able to hold on to that second bar of our health, um, and I've lasted much, much longer so far, cutting our, our sails completely. 
gonna lob a shot over the horizon. I don't think we can get close. Oh! He got us there. He got us. He brought us down to our last health bar. And yeah, pretty much, if you're coming straight at him, he is gonna get you. He aims shallow, so that you pretty much just float right in. And you have to come at him zigzagging, it looks like. It's the only way to really do this, it seems. So it makes him aim out to the side, you're able to cut. Uh, your your sails and actually keep up with them. I know I probably said that once already. This is just stressful. This is tough All right, we are gaining ground on them a little bit Slowly but surely guys. That's the way to handle this So if you're having trouble Just roll for this one Because he is a damn good shot with those mortars don't want to cut yet. Don't want to cut. Now we do. Oh, he went for a shallow shot there too. Let's do a big turn. Come about. It looks like he's gonna try and turn and go for a ram on us again. It looks like that's what he tends to do when we get close. And probably gonna roll with a heavy shot. But okay, I think I think we can. Oh, thank God! I think he's gonna miss. So that's gonna be a hit. Uh, but not as bad as I expected, to be completely honest. Wow. Come on, buddy. Oh, that heavy shot. That heavy shot. Kick it out. Yeah, take that little bastard. Get him with a heavy shot, get him with a heavy shot. Got him with a heavy shot there. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Not enough speed or not enough distance on those. Oh. I think I cut a little too late there. Not actually, no. Not too bad. Took a little bit, it looked like. Oh, that's gonna be a close one. Yep, okay. And don't forget, bracing, guys. Sometimes the only way to survive. Nope, just shallow. Just shallow. It's alright. I think we got him into a good rhythm again. We should be able to start avoiding his mortar volleys. God, I can't believe how much ammo he's got. But probably unlimited. Probably unlimited. I would imagine. Based on what's going on. Oh my. This is going to be a much longer video than the last legendary should be engaged. Yeah, come on, buddy. Turn around. That's fine. Go for it. Yeah. Flip around. Don't get us with a broadside though, okay? Be a big big boon to me. Don't get me with a broadside. Okay, preparing my broadside. It's one shot, I'm not gonna do too much. It is gonna be some chip damage, which is desperately needed. I should be lobbing more of these even if they're not at the back side. He's definitely trying to trying to psych us. Lobbing a heavy shot, but thankfully, not at us. He missed us. He missed us nice and big. Oh, there we go. That was a good shot on his back, on his aft. Okay. Nope, stay out of that range. Get another set here. Oh, there we go, guys. We did it. Third time's the charm. The charm. Actually made it. There we go, brought us down to our last bar of health, but we pulled it off. We sunk him. Little bastard. Sweet. Two legendary ships down, two to go. Including the double ship engagement, which is I think the top uh, northeast. I could be wrong on that. I tried that one once before and got just swamped and destroyed. Anyway guys, um, if you're having trouble with it, uh, try some of the things I've suggested. You might have a little bit better luck. You definitely don't want to go into these engagements uh, without having some of your elite upgrades and your armor fully upgraded. Oh, jeez. 
crazy road waves. But okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Cheers.